Hi, my name is Silvio Escobar. This is my lovely wife, Lisette Escobar. Uh, we're both Spanish. Uh, we're born in Nicaragua, Central America. And uh, we've been coming to the Spanish community at this parish, St. Thomas More. I started coming here ever since I was a little boy, a little kid. Uh, my mom, she's very religious, she used to bring us here. Um, she took me specifically to a small prayer group, a charismatic prayer group. And I was in that group for about two years. After my first year of university, I ended up getting a summer job. And I uh, met some people, some friends, which basically they, um, they were the wrong crowd. So I uh, started hanging around with them more often, uh, going to parties, drinking, started doing drugs. Uh, then I joined uh, some rock bands uh, and it was living that lifestyle. I'm, basically, I moved away from the faith. that point, uh, I started being uh, thinking more about myself, being very selfish, uh, trying to pleasure myself uh, among all the worldly things out there. And uh, I ended up getting a girl pregnant. Uh, we ended up getting married because I thought getting married was the right thing to do. So uh, it was through the Anglican church, and, um, but it didn't work out. The marriage fell apart, we got divorced, and I continued seeing my son. Uh, then I continued living my lifestyle, that worldly lifestyle, you know, seeking self-pleasures, joining other bands, you know, uh, drinking again, doing drugs again, hanging around with, the, with my old friends, partying again. And uh, I think what really started turning my life around was a pilgrimage to Europe. My mom and my aunt asked me to accompany them. Um, I think they just wanted me to help them with their luggage, but I didn't want to at first. And I said, fine, okay, I will come out. And uh, we ended up going to Lourdes, Fatima, the Vatican. And something in those pilgrims just touched me, touched me profoundly. Um, being in front of the, the Virgin Mary where she appeared and um, I, I it just felt her presence uh, so many times uh, at the Vatican as well. It, it moved me, it touched me. Before, when I was living that selfish lifestyle, I felt an emptiness in my heart. I felt like something, something was missing. And uh, going to this pilgrimage, it sort of started touching, I think the Lord touched my heart in a way, and the Virgin Mary, her intercession also helped me. When I came back, from the pilgrimage, I decided to um, join a uh, choir um, where I met my, uh, um, my wife, Lisette. And um, basically what ended up happening was uh, we started seeing each other more often and, and I, um, I started falling in love with her. Now we have three wonderful kids and uh, I, um, she also brought me back into the Charismatics. Uh, and I think coming back to the Charismatics is what really started turning my life around 360 degrees, really, because it, it changed my life profoundly. Uh, I became a better person. I became a better musician. I became a better preacher. I am now a youth minister for this parish. As my husband was saying, we re-encountered ourselves 
uh, while we were helping with the choir in Whippy, but I still kept serving in this Spanish community here at St. Thomas. I was doing First Communion catechisms, volunteering, and just serving the Lord through my volunteer and just serving Him through my community. I was in the charismatic group for a couple of years. Um, at this point, I was actually bugging Him to come and to join our group because we needed a guitarist. We wanted to establish a music ministry and I wanted him to be part of it because I thought that he was a good musician. And um, I was probably that annoying church girl that kept bugging him to come. And when he uh, finally said he was gonna come, I was really happy and ecstatic because I thought that was gonna really help our group grow. We were gonna go away from listening to cassettes and CDs to actually having a live music ministry. And before this, I, my first encounter with the Charismatic Renewal was in 2005, back home. I went with my mom because my grandfather passed away. And my grandmother was actually in the Charismatic Renewal for about 35 years. And she had a prayer group there. And the first time I heard a Charismatic prayer, I was actually kind of scared because I didn't know what was going on. It was quite frightening. But the one thing that stood out from that prayer was that my grandmother got this prophecy saying that she was going to go to faraway lands. And a year and a half later, she came here to Canada. And we were able to, at that point, grow in prayer with her help. My mom was sick and I was still in school. And we would have days and days and hours of prayer and just learning a lot about the charismatic renewal. I started taking her to retreats. And this is where I had my first real and true encounter with Jesus at one of these retreats in Montreal. And I thought I was okay because I was going to church on Sundays. But when I realized that there was something deeper and more in Jesus, I felt like that wasn't enough. Like I wanted more. Just Sundays was not enough. And one of the beautiful things about the Lord is that He is very faithful. He gave me a prophecy a couple of months before I started asking Silvio to come and join the group, he told me he was gonna give me my right hand because he knew I loved to serve the Lord. And when I realized that it wasn't just about in service, but also as a life partner, I was just so grateful with the Lord and I feel so blessed because I get to do what I love and I get to do it with my husband. And that's a real true blessing. And now we have our kids who witness us serving. We bring them to our prayer groups every Friday. And whenever we have to serve in retreats and conferences, we have a support system like my family who always takes care of them so that we can serve the Lord. So the Lord will provide us and He makes, He gives everything that we need. And so our house is always, we're always praising the Lord through music. That is our true love. And I feel like that is a gift from the Lord. And we wanna share it with people. And we feel like we're sharing it in our group. We are heading, currently heading the music ministry. And we also wanted to share a song that we wrote. Um, it's about faith. We wrote it five months ago. Sylvia had a dream about the melody. And then when I heard the melody, I said, this song has to be about faith. It has to be um, about asking the Lord for more faith so that we can overcome tribulations. And also remembering that the Lord is faithful. He will merciful. and merciful. He will give you what you ask in prayer if you have faith. I've been encouraged by what I've seen of Shalom Media and the uh, sorts of events that they promote uh, across Canada. We hear our Holy Father speaking often about a new evangelization for today's world. That is going to call for media, modern media, to be involved in spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. So we ask the Lord to bless Shalom Media and all of your efforts to bring the good news into homes, into people's lives. Amen. Amen.